We are going through the greatest online revolution that this world has ever seen where becoming a doctor and spending $100,000 on a university degree, it just doesn't matter anymore. Because there are hundreds of 20 year olds right now taking advantage of what Forbes is calling the fastest growing $300 billion industry and they're making a six figure income or more without any prior experience. Now I know you click on this video because you wanna make money online, so pay close attention. I'm gonna teach you how to take advantage of this $300 billion industry and make your first five to $7,000 a month online in as little as the next one to two months. Now I need to be very transparent with you. Not everyone watching this is gonna succeed. And the reason why is because most people watching this video are information gatherers, meaning they're just gonna watch this for three to five minutes and then bounce off to another video watching another how to make money online and never actually take any action. But what I can guarantee you is that every single person you on the screen right now is someone who is working a nine to five job or going to university and they took action on what they learned in this video. So if they took control of their life, then what's your excuse? So what I'm gonna cover in this video are the three steps that any beginner can take to make their first three, five, even $7,000 a month online working 100% remotely from anywhere in the world. And if you stay to the end of the video, I'm actually gonna send you a PDF breakdown that goes over the third step which is the most difficult one that most beginners struggle with. Now, if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Richard and I'm the founder of two online consulting companies under Impact Clients LLC. My company does consistently over $1 million a month, month over month consistently. And you see these awards over behind my back? Those awards are given to me for crossing over 1 million, 3 million, and then eventually $10 million in sales. But I wanna make something very clear. Don't compare your chapter one to my chapter 20 because four years ago, I was a broke college student just about to graduate from UCLA with no prospect of actually being successful. I was over $100,000 in student debt and if you're anything like me, I know how you're feeling right now. You're overwhelmed. And what we're gonna cover in this video today is the most beginner friendly business opportunity that exists in the entire marketplace. And I guarantee you it's something that you've never heard before because traditional opportunities like dropshipping, Amazon, starting an agency business, these opportunities all work, but the question is, are they beginner friendly? Because while many of these business opportunities you can make millions of dollars with, you need years of experience under your tool belt in order for them to succeed. Versus other business opportunities might not make you millions of dollars, but you can make your first $100,000 online with, and you only need a very little skill set. which is why I've built the Opportunity Codex chart. And using this codex, I break down the pros, the cons of every single business model and what the best business opportunity is for you, depending on how beginner you are or advanced you are. So the first question becomes when choosing the right business opportunity, what qualities or categories makes that business opportunity the most beginner friendly? Well, I've actually broken it down into five qualities. The first one is going to be startup, which is how much money do you actually need? The second one is going to be profitability, which is how much money can you make from this vehicle? The third one is going to be skill acquisition, which is how many skills you actually need to learn in order to start making money with this opportunity. And is it very hard to learn those skills? The fourth one is speed to income, which is yes, everyone wants to make 10, $20,000 a month, but let's just downplay it and say, how long does it take to actually get to the 5K per month? And the fifth one is fulfillment, which is after the customer actually purchases, how much effort is required to actually deliver the product or service to that customer. Now, if we take a look at the Opportunity Codex, I've covered the most popular business models that everyone online is talking about right now, such as dropshipping, Amazon FBA, agency, info products, as well as the ideal business model. And the ideal business model is what it would look like if there were a perfect opportunity out there. So let's start with dropshipping. Now, if you're not familiar with dropshipping, all it is is running Facebook ads to a website. And by the way, you have to build that website. You need to sell some kind of physical product. And when someone buys the product, you then take that customer's money. You go to a manufacturer in China, like Alibaba or AliExpress, you buy the product and then you ship it directly to the customer. You're essentially a middleman brokering the deal and you make the profit and the difference in the sale. Now from a startup capital perspective, the most expensive thing here is going to be you need money in order to actually run Facebook ads. You need to be spending minimum $50 a day of testing. Now over a 30 day period, that's gonna end up being $1,500 a month in spend. If you don't have side cash available, that's gonna be very difficult. From a skill acquisition standpoint, this is what I would say drop shipping is very hard. Because the very first thing you would need to do is actually learn how to build a website. Then on top of that, you have to learn how to create Facebook ads. 
That requires you to actually learn how to do graphic design, video editing, as well as product selection, which is choosing what product actually goes viral and is most likely to actually succeed. On top of all this, because dropshipping is so popular right now, it is extremely competitive. So from the skill of acquisition, it's very difficult. Profitability wise also is going to be relatively low because once you factor in Facebook ads as well as the product costs in shipping, you're typically going to be making 10 to 20% profit margins. And because of all the variables mentioned already before, speed to income is going to be variable. I will tell you from personal experience, it took three months for me of testing before I found my first official winner product. And at that point, I had spent over $5,000 in Facebook ads already. Fulfillment side, this is where I got to give to dropshipping. It's very easy. Because once someone buys the product, all you do is go online to Alibaba or AliExpress. You can purchase the product and ship it directly to the customer. Now, if we take a look at Amazon, Amazon FBA is actually very similar to dropshipping. However, rather than selling on your own website, you are now selling on the platform of Amazon. Now, the difficult part for most beginners with Amazon is going to be the startup capital needed. On average, people are going to need minimum $6,000 in startup capital because the difference between Amazon and dropshipping is with Amazon, you actually have to buy all the units and in inventory up front, which means if you want to sell water bottles, you need to actually go to a manufacturer in China and order a couple thousand dollars worth of water bottles, ship them to an Amazon warehouse before you can actually begin selling it. From a skill acquisition standpoint, it's literally the exact same as dropshipping. From a profitable standpoint, e-commerce generally is going to be 10 to 20 percent. Speed to income is going to be the exact same as dropshipping with really depending on how soon it is you can actually get a viral product off the ground. And from a fulfillment standpoint, it is very easy because once someone buys, Amazon does all the heavy lifting of shipping the product to the customer, making it very easy on you. The third opportunity is starting an agency. And this is something as of recent that has become very popular, which is where you approach a business and you sell them a service like running their Facebook ads, editing their YouTube videos, editing their contents. And rather than doing the service yourself, you can actually arbitrage the fulfillment. And what that means is finding a third party contractor overseas, paying that person, let's say $500 in order for them to fill, whereas you charge the client $3,000 a month, which means you get to pocket the difference, which is $2,500 a month. Now, from a startup capital perspective, this is very advantageous because you don't actually need any real hard cost. And so this is very close to $0. For agencies, I gotta give it to them. Now, in terms of skill acquisition, this is where things are still quite difficult. Because you have to learn how to arbitrage a skill set in addition to selling a client, you actually have to learn, number one, how to outbound cold email business owners to get them to respond. And then after you get them to respond, you actually have to take a sales call with them. On top of that, learning how to do arbitrage, which is finding a contractor that can actually fulfill, for example, running Facebook ads for a business client, is also quite difficult to do because at the very minimum, you have to understand how to run Facebook ads. It can't just be blindly giving the responsibility to someone else. So for arbitrage, you also have to learn the skill set, making this quite difficult. In terms of profitability, agencies typically are at the 60% plus profit margins, which is decently good. And speed to income for agencies really just depends on how soon you can land your first client. If you are terrible on sales calls, if you don't know how to find the right niche, landing your first client is going to take months and months and months. But perhaps the most difficult part about an agency business model is the fulfillment. Because think about it from a business owner's perspective. Business owners can either hire an agency for, let's say, $3,000 a month, or they can hire an, an internal employee for five to $6,000 a month. Being a business owner myself and having worked with multiple agencies, the only reason why I work with an agency as opposed to wanting to bring on an employee is because I don't want to spend that much money on an employee and I don't want to do any of the work. And because of my quote unquote laziness, I delegate the responsibilities to an agency. But because I delegate the responsibilities to the agencies, I have an extremely high expectation as a business owner that the agency is going to get the work done. And most people want to leave their nine to five job and get into an online business because they want to fire the boss. But all of a sudden, when people get into the agency world, they find themselves in a situation where before their nine to five job, they only had one boss. But all of a sudden, how when they have 10 clients, they actually end up having 10 bosses. It's extremely stressful. I have multiple friends that run agencies over $100,000 a month, and they tell me how stressful it is to run an agency because the more clients you have, the more people that are expecting for you to get results for that. So 
that's where the agency opportunity really does lose. Now, the fourth opportunity is info products. Now, info products is selling your knowledge and expertise in the format of a course or coaching program or ebook. Now, from a startup capital perspective, it is relatively cheap because you just need equipment like a camera in order to actually record the course material. Now, from a skill set standpoint, it's hard because you actually have to have a real skill and be able to teach other people in order to sell a course. And for most beginners, the typical problem when they come is, well, I don't really have a skill that I can teach. I don't know what to teach. And if you don't really have a skill to teach, you can't really start a coaching business. Profit margins are very good because an information product doesn't have any hard costs like shipping or anything like that. Typically, your margins are gonna be over 60%. And if you do actually launch a coaching program the right way, typically within the first 30 to 60 days, you can find success. Now, from a fulfillment standpoint, is medium difficulty. It's not like an agency where you're actually providing the service to a business owner where they expect everything to be done perfectly. When you have a coaching program, you're coaching people, which means that it is a 50-50 relationship where the student actually needs to take action on what it is that you're teaching. So if they don't get results, they're not going to necessarily blame it on you because they realize that you're teaching them and it's on their responsibility to actually execute. So it's medium difficulty, which then takes us to what does an ideal business model actually look like? Well, let me break it down. From a startup capital perspective, we want to be as close to zero as possible. So if right now you don't have that much money, that's totally understandable, you can still get started. From a skill acquisition standpoint, this is where all the opportunities talked about have been very difficult because every single one requires that you have multiple skills you gotta learn before you can be successful. But the ideal business skill is only going to need one skill and you'd be successful. From a profitability standpoint, we would want our profit margins to be as high as humanly possible. So 90% plus. For speed to income, we would want this to be within a 30 to 60 day period so that within the first couple of weeks, you can start making money. And then from a fulfillment standpoint, we would want to make sure it's as easy as possible, meaning not a lot of stress when you're actually delivering the service. Now for all these business models that you see in the chart, I can tell you, I fell on my face flat and I failed four businesses from 18 to 20 years old because they were just so complicated, but there's one business model that actually covers all these boxes of the ideal business model. So what is it? Well, I can tell you it's an undercover skill and perhaps the greatest kept secret in our entire industry that I guarantee you've never even heard about before because no one wants to talk about it, but every single influencer you see online is actually currently doing it. Because if you look at all these business influencers online, what do they all have in common? I guarantee you every single one of them is currently selling an information product, a course or coaching program teaching you how to do the skill. For example, if someone teaches on how to do dropshipping, do you know where they're actually making their money? Yeah, they're making money dropshipping, but they're making even more money selling a coaching program on how to do dropshipping. If someone is teaching you how to do an agency business, you know they're actually not making their money with an agency. I'm not gonna say any names, but the majority of people that have agencies, they're actually making all their money teaching other people with an information product how to start an agency. I call this the online education business model, which is first, we start off with a social media following. This could be a YouTube influencer, this could be someone on Instagram or TikTok, and if they don't even have a large audience, they would just simply pay ads on YouTube or on Facebook in order to send people to find out more about them. What they do is they'll post content, which will give free value, they'll teach you, and the content genuinely, for the most part, is very valuable. But what they'll do is they will send you to a call to action. A call to action will be something like, hey, if you like this content and want to learn more about how we can coach you, then DM me a word or comment below on a post. And what they'll do is they'll send you into a actual DM conversation. From the direct messages, they will message you back and forth, figure out if you're actually a good fit, if you have the money to be able to invest with them, and then they will get you on the phone call. Now on the phone call, what they'll do is they will actually see if you're a good fit, and then if you are, they will present an offer and sell you on their coaching program. And then once you purchase the coaching program, then you have now become a paying client, and they will start working with you and coaching you on how to do the money-making opportunity. But here's the interesting thing across all these business owners. What is the biggest problem that they all have? It's that in order for them to make more money, they actually need to book more phone calls because every single time they take a phone call, they are able to sell a program. I have a business consulting company doing over $10 million a year where I help business owners grow their online education businesses and every single one of them comes to me with the same problem. Richard, how do I get more booked phone calls? Well, the solution is pretty simple. To get more booked phone calls, they need to send more messages inside of the DMs in order to book more phone calls. But here's the problem. They have 47 other problems they have to worry about. They have to worry about their ads. They have 
to make sure they're making good content so their social media following continues to grow. They have to make sure that once people are on the phone, that their salespeople are saying the right things, that their salespeople aren't saying anything stupid. And then once they become a paying client, obviously they have to make sure that the client actually has a great experience, they're delivering a good service. But the one thing that's super clear, if they send more messages in the DMs, they book more phone calls. And they book more phone calls, they make more sales, and their business grows more and more. And that's exactly what this opportunity is all about. Because there's an undercover sales agent called a remote setter. And this remote setter's pure responsibility is to partner up with that business owner, send messages inside of his or her Instagram account or social media profile, and book phone calls for that business owner so the business owner has enough sales calls to take. And every single time one of those phone calls actually closes and the product sells, that remote setter actually ends up making a percentage, typically 4 to 10% on the product, making them a nice handsome commission. Let me just break this down with some easy math with just how simple it is to make money with this. Let's say that you're a remote setter and on average being conservative, it takes 30 minutes in order to actually book a call. So that means if you work four hours, you can actually book up to eight calls. But let's be really conservative and say rather than booking eight calls, you only book five calls. Well, we book five calls and let's say one of them no shows. So four of them end up showing up. If the salesperson, which by the way, you're not actually taking these sales calls, you're just booking them. There's a salesperson that actually takes the sales call, closes at 25%, which is very conservative, that means that that ends up being one close. Now, if the price of the program is $5,000, which in our industry, a dropshipping course, a how to start an agency course, very, very typical to, for them to be anywhere between five to $10,000. If it's $5,000 and you make a 5% commission, that $5,000 sale at a 5% commission means you just made $250. Now, if you work Monday through Friday, that's 22 days per month. If you make one sale every single day that you work, that's $5,500. $500 in commissions you just made in that month. You just learned one skill, which is typing messages in a way that gets people to want to book sales calls and the business handles everything else. And let's actually revisit the opportunity codex and see how this lines up with the ideal business model. If we take a look at getting started, you don't actually need any capital because all you're doing is typing messages on your phone or computer inside of a messaging app like Instagram. So it's pretty much close to zero capital cost. In terms of skill acquisition, there's only one skill that you need to learn, which is typing messages, which means it is an extremely simple skill to learn. In terms of your profit margin, well, you're getting paid a percentage because you're considered a business partner of the business owner that you're working with. And so you don't actually have to take on any hard costs. You just simply get paid a percentage, like four or 5% on the sale every single time the sales happen. So it's just 90% plus margins. From a speed to income perspective, you could absolutely partner up with a business owner and within 30 to 60 days, actually start making money. And also for the fulfillment, standpoint, well, you're not actually involved in fulfillment because the business owner who is selling the online education product, they're the one that actually has to coach up the client. You have no responsibility. This skill set is so simple. Everyday normal people like Kalen made $11,000 in his first 30 days doing this with his partnered business owner. Hamza made $5,000 her first month and Christine, she quit her chemical engineering job. It was a nine to five that she was slaving away at because she made $9,000 in her first month doing remote setting. And after I failed a dropshipping business, an agency business, and a whole bunch of other opportunities because they were just so complicated to get off the ground as a complete beginner, I actually accidentally stumbled my way into the opportunity of a remote setting because I just really wanted to be mentored by a, a successful business owner. And so I found a successful business owner I resonated with because he was a Christian, he was a family man, and he was making good money online. He had a coaching program that was $5,000 where he would work with online personal trainers and he would consult for them and coach them on how they could build their businesses. And when I asked him for work, I actually didn't really have that much expectations, but I said, I'm willing to do anything as long as I can get mentored by you. And he told me, well, Richard, I have too much going on right now. I'm spending two to three hours a day in my DMs on my Instagram, booking and setting calls. Can you help me? I'll pay you 4% for every single call you book that ends up closing. So not really knowing anything about this industry, I just decided, well, you know what? It seems pretty simple. I just have to type messages. And what I did for the next 30 days, while I was still a university student at UCLA, so I did it part-time, was I did remote setting for three to four hours a day, typing messages on his Instagram account. I didn't have to show my face. I just followed a script that he had built out for me. And every single day, I would book about four calls. Now, three of those calls would show up and one of them would close at $5,000. And I would work one day Monday through Friday, which means that over 22 days, I actually helped him make an extra $110,000 in his business. Now, let me ask you, how valuable do you think you would be if you could help a business owner add an extra six figures a month to their top line? For me, he paid me 4% commission, which means 
I made $200 per close. And by the end of the first month, I made $4,400 in income. It was insane. And here was the stuff I was not doing. I wasn't selling anything because I didn't have to actually talk to anyone by showing my face or jumping on a Zoom call or put pressure on someone. All I did was just set the call by booking it so that the salesperson could take the call. I didn't have to show my face or create any content because I was extremely introverted at the time and I liked that. I wasn't forced into office because I could literally be making money while I was at the beach or on the toilet. And I didn't have to make any complicated websites, run any ads, and most importantly, I didn't have to take on any risk myself because I was partnered with the business owner who was running his business. I didn't actually have to run the day-to-day -day operations of the business. And best of all, I knew that I was insanely valuable to the business owner, making it recession-proof because I knew me setting calls for Vince was absolutely necessary because no sender meant no calls, which meant no sales and no business. I knew that this couldn't be outsourced to a virtual assistant or to artificial intelligence because it actually required emotional intelligence and actually to do. And I knew that after doing it for three months, I could get even better and make more money because I could send more messages. I could overcome objections in the messages faster. I could qualify prospects faster. And my income went from 4,400 in the first month to 5,200 in the second month to over $6,000 in the third month. And before I knew, I had made my first $15,000 online and it blew my mind after struggling in business for so long. Now at this point, you might be wondering, well, Richard, this sounds awesome, but I don't want to work within a business. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to work for myself. That's why I want to do dropshipping my agency because I feel like my own boss. And that's exactly how I felt about this when I was first given the opportunity. But let me tell you some advice I got from a hundred million dollar CEO. When I was 20 years old and I was just about to take on this opportunity, I was super skeptical and I ended up going to a business event. And there was a speaker who was actually making over $100 million a year. His name is Joel Marin. And I asked him, Joel, I'm running an e-commerce business right now, which I think has potential to grow. But then I also have this remote setting opportunity. Which one do you take? Because I really prefer being an entrepreneur. And he laughed at me and he said, Richard, you're 20 years old. You want to be an entrepreneur and work for yourself because you're seeing all these influencers online posting photos of the Lambo and private jets and saying, oh, be your own boss. What you need to do when you're first getting started as a beginner is gain skills because the reality is you're not an entrepreneur. You're a watchpreneur, a wannabe entrepreneur. And you need to partner up with a business owner, learn skills, be mentored, and get paid to learn instead of losing money and figuring it all yourself. And as I'm telling you this now, having made $15 million since that opportunity started, do you actually want to be an entrepreneur or do you want to experience the things that being an entrepreneur can give you? Because if I'm honest, if I could make $5,000 or $10,000 a month and not have the stress of 10 plus employees, the stress of having all these clients and all the fires that come with building a business, I would take that in a heartbeat because at the end of the day, I just want to be able to make my $5,000 a month so I can travel the world. I can take care of my family and I can work from anywhere in the world because that's what most people want. And so if you're watching this and you're a complete beginner, let me tell you all those things that you want can be achieved working as an entrepreneur, which is an entrepreneur within the business, as opposed to just being an entrepreneur and taking on all the risk of building a business and losing a lot of money if it doesn't work out. And if you have even bigger ambitions, because one day, you want to build a business? Well, that was exactly me. I want to build a business. And so even though I knew I could make over $8,000 in this opportunity, I wanted to grow. So I actually asked my boss if I could take on the next skill set, which is actually taking the phone call rather than booking phone calls, because I knew that my commission could go from 4% to actually 10% commissions. And I did that and my income went up to over $10,000 a month. And about a year later, I actually grew to become a executive within the company where I helped them run the day-to-day -day operations. And I actually gained a percentage of the company as an executive executive and true partner. Now working with my boss for over a year, I actually realized I could help other businesses grow as well especially with this remote setter opportunity by helping them learn how to place a setter in their business to help them grow their business as well. And as I was working with all these clients, I realized the biggest problem that all these clients had is that they all missed phone calls and they needed more of them. And there wasn't ever enough manpower to actually spend time messaging the followers to book those calls. So to solve that problem, I actually ended up founding the setter certification program, an online school that teaches, certifies, and trains remote setters on how to become really good at messaging. And then I help place these individuals inside of seven figure businesses that desperately need more phone calls. And by the way, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm actually gonna give you a course from the Setter Certification Program that will help you learn 
how you can implement this skill set as well. So regardless of what you want to make three to $7,000 a month and work 100% remotely, or you have way bigger ambitions like I did of one day becoming a business owner, you need to understand three fundamental truths. First and foremost, the online education is only getting bigger. Forbes is saying it's blowing past 300 billion already and only growing more. Secondly, the biggest problem that all these online education businesses have is they do not have enough book phone calls. And the third is that remote setting is the most high demand recession proof skill that businesses desperately need in order for them to stay afloat. And there's nothing, I absolutely mean nothing in their industry right now that is more certainly going to get you to $5,000 a month in more in the next 30 to 60 days. And so now that you understand the fastest way to get to three to $7,000 a month, 100% remotely is remote setting, you might be wondering, well, how do I implement this and become a setter? Which is why I wanna teach you the three steps to becoming a remote setter, hitting three to $7,000 a month in commission checks and working from anywhere in the world. Now, the first step is what I call opportunity selection. Now, you need to understand that not all opportunities are created equally. There's a lot of complicated factors that result in the success of a business right? That's why, again, I don't recommend beginners to start a business. Because when you have a business, you have to first understand traffic, which is, are there enough leads and opportunities for the setters? Meaning, is this person running ads? Are they growing their social media following so there's quality leads? Then we have to take a look at the content of the business. Are they posting quality content on the profiles that engage with the audience and nurture the audience so they want to buy the product? Then, from the setter standpoint, they have to actually look does the setter actually have a good leadership structure so they can actually train the setters on how to be successful at booking calls? Then for the closers, we have to see once the call is actually booked, do they have good closers or salespeople who can close at 33% on the phone and actually booking calls? Then we start wondering, is the offer sellable? Is it a high ticket price point of at least three to $5,000? Because a lot of coaches, they struggle charging a high price point. And then once someone actually buys the product, we have to look at the transformation. Is the business actually able to fulfill and give the client a really good result, which now results in more testimonials? testimonials, which means they can get referrals, which helps the business grow as well as help the marketing by creating a good reputation and word of mouth. And the thing is with for all these opportunities, you only want to work for what we call a QBO, which stands for a qualified business opportunity. That means a business that has at least a $5,000 price point, at least 20 testimonials. They have a consistent track record where the salespeople close at least 33% on the phone over the last 90 days and they have at least consistent lead flow so that if you are a remote setter for them, you can book at least five calls per day so that you actually do have the ability to make money. Most businesses out there, if you book six calls a day and there's 22 days a month, that means is you're able to book 132 calls. Now with the mediocre marketing, typically the show rate's gonna be 70% and then that means that 92 people show. From there, if you have a closer of 20%, which again is pretty mediocre, meaning their salespeople are not very good, that means that you're gonna have 18 closes. At 18 closes at a $25, $500 price point, again, the product isn't good enough, so they can't charge high enough. And that means that you're able to make $45,000 in sales. If you make commission at 4%, you're only able to make $1,800 that month working for this business. However, if you work with a QBO, a qualified business opportunity, if you book the same amount of calls at six calls a day over 22 days, that's 132 calls. Now to share rate of 80% is due to the fact that they have better marketing, which means that there's 106 people that show. Then there's a closer at 35% because they have very strong closers. And then that means the closes is actually going to be 37. Now, because they have a $5,000 price point, it means that they actually have a quality product with more value, which is why they can charge a higher price point. You're actually doing $185,000 in sales. That ends up being at 4%, $7,400 in commission. Now, I want you to notice, you did the exact work in the same. You spent the same amount of time, you messaged the same way, the only difference in why your income is different multiple times over is because of the opportunity that you're in. And the unfortunate truth is, in this majority of this industry, most business owners are just going to try to hire a remote setter to save their business for them, meaning fixing their marketing, their sales, their fulfillment. You don't want to work with business owners like this. It's like, for example, if you put a really good race car driver inside of a Honda versus putting that person in a Lamborghini. If that person drives through, who's going to win the finish line? Obviously, they're a Lamborghini. Now, in this situation, is the driver a little better? Absolutely not. And it's the same with the business. Can you make three times more money overnight because you become better as a remote setter? No, it's simply because the opportunity vehicle is just better because there's better marketing, which means it's gonna be a higher show rate, 
a better sales team, which means that they're going to close more people and great client results and testimonials, which means that they can increase the price of the product, which means you can make more in commissions. So just like that with step one, you now understand opportunity selection, why it's so important to find the right business owner to work with. Now, the second step is called booking, not selling. A very common question I get is, Richard, do I need to have sales experience or be really salesy in order to succeed as a setter? Well, no. Well, I actually prefer that you don't have any sales experience because that means you don't have any bad habits. And really there's two parts in the sales process. You have to understand there's setting the call and then there's closing the call. And you are really just building the relationship with the prospect by typing messages, not showing your face and selling, and you're building curiosity so that they want to book the call. That means that you're leaving the selling to the closer. And the best part is that when you have a QBO with strong marketing, most of the prospects are already nurtured, the warm, the hot and ready to buy. And so when you're already chatting with them inside the DMs, they're already eager to want to book a call with you. Now, I actually want to break down a $9,800 sale that was done inside of my own personal direct messages by an appointment setter. Now you can see at the top of the messages, the first message was sent by me when I say, hey brother, how can I support you? And he says, I see all your posts all the time. I'm just wondering about your coaching program. So then I respond with, good to hear that. I hope you're crushing it. I'm curious, what do you think about our post? The reason why I'm talking about this is because again, a good qualified business owner, QBO, is going to have good content that they're posting in order to warm up their prospects. He goes ahead and says, it's great. So then I ask them, just curious, what are you currently at with monthly cash collected? The reason why I'm asking questions is because for this $9,800 product, it is a business consulting product for my company in which we coach business owners on how they can scale their business with marketing strategies. And he tells me that he's currently making $4,000, $5,000. He's averaging six to $7,000 per month. And so that's where I say, solid, you're on pace of hitting 10 to 15. Are you looking to scale or what's your plan? He says, well, I would like to scale for sure. I'm a one-man show and you know, I'm doing pretty much everything right now. And that's where I go ahead and now transition the call. I said, well, I think you can definitely do that. Would you be cool if I connect you with my right-hand guy? That's where I refer to my salesperson. So he can help you create a step-by-step -step roadmap on how you can actually get there and start delegating most of your tasks daily without sacrificing your margins and cash collected. He tells me, sure. At this point, I say, do you have time tomorrow? He gives me some times. I go ahead and I send the calendar link. And then from the calendar link, he goes ahead and books. And after the sales call, the appointment center then checks in on message and says, hey brother, how was your call? Here's to see if there's anything that we can support you with. And he says, call was good. I signed up. And at that point, I'm just really just graduating the client. This was a sale that was actually $9,800. And you can see over the course of two days, I went back and forth with about five, seven messages, give or take. And just because of this remote setter, my company was able to get someone on the phone and sell a $9,800 product. Now that makes me very happy for the setter because without the setter, I wouldn't have a $9,800 client to begin with, which is why we pay 4%. So this setter in this case made $392 just typing these messages on his phone. And by the way, I boiled this down into the DM script, which is a course, which I will give you when you stay to the end of this video. And using this course, Nick actually ended up making $2,600 in his first month doing this. And the interesting thing is he actually worked as a weekend setter because a business just needed him for Saturdays and Sundays. Isaac, his first month part-time made $2,700 as a remote setter and that was only working a couple of days every single week while still going to school. Just like in health, we made $8,300 by doing over $257,000 in sales for his business owner. And so that's step number two, which again, you're booking deals, you're not actually selling anything. And that takes us to step number three, which is modeling a mentor. If you're familiar with who Tony Robbins is, who is worth over $600 million, he has this famous line that goes, if you wanna be successful, find someone who's achieved the results you want and copy what they do and you will achieve the same results. And let me tell you, the smartest decision that I ever made was finding my mentor Vince because he had a thriving seven figure business and I had no skills. In fact, I had failed all these businesses. And I knew that no matter what, I would have the mentorship in safety net of not having to worry about the stress of running a business. And because of his mentorship, at first I was only booking two to three calls a day, which is why I made three to $4,000 a month. But because I had mentorship from a successful business owner, eventually I was booking five to six calls a day, which is how my income got up to five to $6,000 a month. That's why it's so powerful to have a mentor and not try to figure this out on yourself. Because when Alex partnered up with the right business owner and started to receive mentorship from him, he actually ended up doing $161,000 in cash afford that business owner and he made $6.4,000 in his first 30 days. Christian was making $1.5,000 a week or about four dollars $5,000 a month while vacationing on the beaches of Italy and Raj made over $5,500 as a remote setter his first month and he did this 100% remotely and he's from India. And at this point, you know how my students and I are able to achieve three to $7,000 a month worth of remote setting and you also know the three key steps of how to get there from opportunity selection, booking not selling, as well as modeling 
find after a mentor. And you might be wondering, well, how do I accelerate this process so I can make three to seven thousand dollars in as little as the next 30 to 45 days? How do I find, interview, and land a remote setter position with the right business opportunity? And how do I consistently book five to six calls a day so I can start making a commission? And who's the best mentor that I can learn from so that I can cut down the learning curve and get to success the quickest way possible? And that brings me to the exact reason why I filmed this video for you. Because remember how I told you I've done over $14 million in sales? Well, it's because I run a consulting firm that helps businesses turn into qualified business opportunities. In fact, what we do is we help them with their content marketing. We help them get their clients better results. We help them increase their prices as well as make a better efficient sales team. And I have a Rolodex of over 400 qualified business opportunities that are making six, seven, even eight figures a year. And they all desperately need setters. And because of my need for remote setters, that is why I launched the Setter Certification Program. Because inside this program, my team and I train you to become a high performance remote setter. We've trained over 300 setters at this point through a four week boot camp, which is where we teach you all the DM scripts, how you can actually review your conversations. And then at the end, we certify you, which by the way, business owners highly value the fact that you've been certified because it actually shows that you've done a professional effort of learning the skill. And then after you get certified, we then help you go find a qualified business opportunity in which we give you a Rolodex of all the businesses within our network that you can begin reaching out and partnering with, as well as how you can go and find your own opportunity as well. Now, this is really important because this is not for everyone. In fact, if you're not serious about making at least three to $7,000 a month for remote setting, this is not for you. If you're stuck in information gathering mode or you're just not prepared to take action to get results, and this is definitely not for you if you expect a free handout, aka having no skin in the game, for two key reasons. Number one, how do you expect to enroll other people on investing in themselves when you yourself are not willing to invest in your own education. And the second reason why this is not free is because we're a university, not a charity. If universities didn't have a tuition fee, they would literally cease to exist and help no one. In fact, if you look on the screen, I have over $209,000 in payroll. That's over $2.4 million a year that I pay to my staff because we're that committed to getting our students results. If we did not charge money for something like this, I literally would be going negative millions of dollars every single year. And again, we're not a charity. And so who is this for? Well, there's three types of people. If you're a complete beginner and you just want to get started making money online and you just don't know where to start, this is the best possible opportunity that you could have in this year to actually start getting to your first $5,000 a month. If you have already done sales, maybe in another industry and you want to get started in remote setting to make an even better income, this is 100% for you. And if you are already a remote setter and you want to increase your skill set and make even more income, this is definitely for you as well. And this is specifically for people who are willing to invest in themselves and be held accountable accountable to the education and those that are hungry, coachable, and committed to learn. And so if all this resonates with you, I want you to click the first link down in the description because that's actually going to take you to a page where you can schedule a call, which is an interview where my team and I can actually have a conversation and see if we're a good fit to actually coach you through on how to become a remote setter. And what's going to happen on the interview is we are going to do a personal consultation where we'll map out your goals for the next 90 days, the best opportunity that you're suited for, as well as we're going to give you some coaching and value on how you can hone in your skill sets to become on pace for three to seven thousand dollars in as little as the next 30 to 60 days and if we feel like we can 100 help you then we'll walk you through by giving you a customized game plan on exactly how the setter certification program can get you to your income goals now this is very important we cannot help everyone because i only uploaded this video because my team and i are looking for 10 to 20 very hungry students that are serious about becoming remote setters and when i find those remote setters and we max out of mentorship spots, we're going to take down this video and you can't book a call anymore. So that's you and you're serious about becoming a remote setter and finding out more about this opportunity. I want for you to click that first link down below, book a call before it's too late. Worst case situation is the call is free. And even if we can't help you, we'll give you a roadmap and plan of how you can get to your 90 day income goal of $5,000, $10,000 a month. And to be honest, getting advice from a team that does over $15 million a year, that's pretty incredible for that being the worst case situation. The best case situation is we can 100% help you. We give you a custom game plan and we give you an invitation to join the center certification program. And in the next one to two months, your life has changed forever. The only risk that you do have is taking all the information you learned here today, trying to do it and figure it out on yourself and get stuck in this vicious cycle of having no guidance or mentorship. And then go for the next two years, jumping from one opportunity to another, trying to make it as a remote setter with no real guidance but following the same vicious cycle that you've been in and what I was stuck in for years and years. Look at me when I'm saying this to you, especially when you have a mentor such as myself in my team, 
to be here and hold your hands step by step to helping you make your first three to seven thousand dollars a month in the next one to two months. Nico, who's based out in Peru, made four thousand dollars in his first month as a row setter. Or Sophia, who is a university student who made thirty seven hundred dollars in her first month working only weekends as a setter. Alec ended up getting the six to seven thousand dollars a month as a row setter and then bought his dream a motorcycle. And now he does epic road trips going from city to city and he's still able to make money remotely as a setter while doing so. So if you want similar results, go ahead and click the first link down in the description. Go ahead, schedule your call, jump on the call. It's going to be incredible. I'm so excited for you and all the value you're going to get. And remember, how you do one thing is how you do everything. I'm rooting for you.